During the 1st and 2nd centuries CE, the Turkish mostly consisted of nomads that would travel around the steppe lands due to the lack of solid precipitation. They would bring with them herds of animals in portable tents that they named yurts. Since their lifestyle couldn't rely on agriculture, they used animals for most of their supplies. They used them as food, yurts, clothing, tools, and alcoholic milk drinks called kumis. Huh. One of the more unique aspects of the culture was their view of women. As men often left on military campaigns and hunting expeditions, the women would take care of the animals a lot. The women were skilled in archery, horseback riding, and in some occasions would even fight alongside the men during war times. Due to the nomads' mobile nature and familiarity with many regions, they were a key aspect to linking settlements in Asia to settlements in the Mediterranean basin. With their constant exposure to many contrasting cultures, this caused a bit of a mix in religious preference throughout the nomad community. During their earlier phases, the nomads believed in shamans, who were religious leaders that had supernatural connections to the gods. While they continued to respect this philosophy, many Turks began to convert to Buddhism, Nestorian Christianity, or Manichaeism. Yet over the long term, most Turks converted to Islam. Their military forces were also a force to be reckoned with due to their uncanny skills on horseback, being able to shoot arrows with pinpoint accuracy even though it was from the back of a galloping horse. By the 10th century, they managed to blend in more with the Abbasid rather than constantly living on the outskirts of the dynasty. When the mid-11th century came about, the Saljuk leader, Tugril Beg, was recognized as Sultan or chieftain. At this point, most of the political responsibilities with what was the Abbasid dynasty was now placed in the hands of the Turks. The Turks now being in a higher position than ever set their sights on Anatolia. With much help from the Saljuks, the Byzantine authority at Anatolia was displaced and taken over by the Turkish leaders. While the Saljuks spearheaded Turkish migration in Abbasid Persia and the Byzantine Anatolia, Mahmud of Ghazi led the Turkish Ghaznavids of Afghanistan in raids on lucrative sites in North India. By the 13th century, Century, the Turks had done a conquest through Persia, Anatolia, and India, and the influence of the nomadic people was greater than ever before in Eurasian history. Yep, nothing can possibly go wrong.